on RAF that's no don't do that do this that's peace I know the other one is not nice in England RAF my punk band we're recording we're gonna have that album out we are right quick folks it's Friday and if it's um if, if you got a little cash pick this up seriously Derek Higgins the world is burning Randy's alternative music out of Pittsburgh put this album out on CD a, a limited edition of 300 copies it's already sold over 110 copies in one week um, sales are going well I've been actually been able to send Randy half of the, his investment back I'd like for Randy to make his money back even more importantly than me profit sharing in this I want Randy to make his money back we just need to keep selling and and that'll happen soon this morning someone sent me some money um, thank you for the channel I, if you haven't though buy the CD I'll leave the link below that'll be a real this is really good too I mean everyone that's been buying it so far has really been sharing how much they enthuse about the record I even have a um, person uh, requesting or saying I hope you do a new guitar based album because your playing is so good I appreciate that um, not really in the cards right now to focus on my guitar playing um, but thank you so the world is burning it's only ten dollars folks please buy a copy something I played yesterday I hadn't played in a long time because I'd seen my friend Tim Cox who plays drums with me in RAF one of the other original members of this band RAF she he's been getting into um, uh, collecting records lately and has always loved music so showed where he was playing this the other day social unrest SU 2000 and this is an album that we both bought copies of at the show back in 1985 or 86 when social unrest came through Omaha just a band just a bunch of guys just a bunch of kids basically from California I think but this was one of those concerts this was one of those shows that for me was kind of life-changing it was epic and it was one of those nights that defined being in what I consider the hardcore um, movement here in the Midwest if you want to call it that there was something about the way the guys sang the songs the way they played them and the way they interacted with the audience before and after the show that made it feel like we were part of something changing that we that what we were doing was real that we really were that that we were how do I put it we were validating one another's existence across the country that young disenfranchised people who really saw through the monstrous game of the system as we see now which is it's just about making money and having power for the rich everything's been alive from day one but they just sang this mu music and these words like it was the last thing that they were ever going to do on this planet and you know what they caught they caught it they captured it this album is really 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 powerful and I don't hear about it when you hear about punk rock and the greatest punk rock albums of all time uh, for me this is one of them social unrest seriously I highly recommend this album to people who think they like aggressive punk rock music amazing album another album that I didn't like it when it came out and I heard this when it came out my friend Paul my favorite um, partying buddy in high school 73 when Aladdin Sane came Elaine Aladdin Sane came out by Bowie he had it right away it was I can remember I can remember the first time hearing this coming over to his house to his mom's house walking to the bedroom and he's got this blasting now he's the guy that turned me on to Genesis and Faust and Can and Guru Guru and Ashra Temple and so I was really in that headspace I was still only 17 at the time you know this was all new to me 
and so Bowie just hit me wrong at the time. Now this is one of my favorite Bowie albums. Watch That Man, Aladdin Sane, Mike Garson's um, soloing on this album, the Avant Garde Touch, Drive-In Saturday Panic in Detroit, The Gene Genie Lady Grinning Soul. My God, what an album! There will never be another David Bowie. Let me see if there's anything. Else. Yeah, here's one more to talk about. So I um, pulled this to take over to the gallery to turn people on to, and um, Hugo didn't even notice me playing this. And sure enough, for you folks that like Hugo, and I love Hugo, I stopped by the gallery yesterday, and what is playing? Excuse me. Huey Lewis and the News. So it came up, and I'm, you know, kind of j jokingly talking about it. It's like, I swear to God, you play that because you know I'm coming over, because you know that I, you know, don't really want to hear it. And he said, no, I was just into the 80s. And then he puts on the, the soundtrack to Footloose. Now, I'm a DJ. I'm a former DJ, and I did weddings for over 10 years in the 80s and 90s, and so... I know the words to put loose in every song on that album by heart because of being a DJ. You had to play it. Don't love that music. This, however, is a strange Boris album. The new album came out, I think, in 2011. I love this artwork. The music, this is, a, to me, one of those Boris albums where they're trying something. Let's try this. Let's try this. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. They do all kinds of things, from really heavy, heavy metal to drone to just all out, you know, basic punk. This is somewhere where they're trying to put something like pop into the mix. Um, this is a weird album. I think I like the cover the best about it right now. I really like Boris. But I think I chose the wrong album to take over to um, the gallery. Uh, it uh, didn't go over well. For me, it didn't go over well. Here's something I play um, every now and then. It's slow. You have to be in the mood for it. But when I'm in the mood, I love the band Earth. The the, the uh, bees made honey in the lion's skull. I have a couple other Earth albums. I really like this one. And um, this has been reissued. This is the original 2008 edition. You know how they have those little signifiers, like with the dead wax and stuff. Um, just kind of moves along slowly, like like a big animal. But what's funny about this music is that it just kind of grinds along, and then the next thing you know, you, I find myself realizing how beautiful this music is. I don't know if that's a, a term the band expects to be used regarding their music, Earth. But this is uh, beautiful doom, beautiful doom music. Played this with a friend, uh, well, I played this a couple times. Melvin's come through Omaha at least twice a year. Um, they're coming again. I've seen them several times. Nuda's Boots, not one of their greatest albums, but it's better than people give, give it credit for. If you are going to co compare this to Uzma or the early stuff, you know, it pales. But if you just listen to it because it's Melvin's, this is good Melvin's. Last thing I'll show is I've been getting into getting into some Fela. You know, um, really, I'm sick. I hate politics. I just hate politics in America. It's such an embarrassment now. And to me, Fela was the true first and only black president that we've ever seen on this planet. No, not Obama. To make music, honest music, that's so honest and intimidates the powers of a country so much that they come and burn your house to the ground and assault you and your own mother, that's a real person to admire to me, Fela. His sax playing is not hot. What is amazing about Fela and Africa, Africa 70 is the ensemble playing, and in particular, Tony Allen's drumming. Get a Fela record and just listen to the rhythm, and that's all you need. 
Buy it today. Pick this up. Derek Higgins, The World is Burning. I'm extremely proud of this. Randy LeMasters, thank you so much for putting this out, Randy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get yours today, people. I'm serious. And have a great weekend.